We watched Harry and Meghan, so you don't have to, part three. This episode counts down to the royal wedding and everything that comes with it, starting with the engagement interview, which Meghan describes as an orchestrated reality show and touching on her first royal walkabout. They portray it as all rehearsed and arranged for the press, with Harry even quipping, we've never been able to tell our story. And the press is a big theme once again. Harry talks about the royal rota arrangement and there's commentary about how both William and Harry have essentially been born into this contract between the royal family and the press. He calls it exploitative, saying the press see their trauma as a narrative to control. There's a lot of talk about the methods of the media and the headlines generated as a result. And we meet Meghan's mum, Doria, again, who says that she was stalked by paparazzi. I felt unsafe a lot. I can't just go walk my dog. Race was also a massive theme in this episode, in terms of history and Britain's relationship with empire and the slave trade. Harry talks of the fact his family has a huge level of unconscious bias and that it's a constant work of progress to unlearn. And he references the Nazi outfit that he wore on Halloween and the learning that came from that moment. I felt so ashamed afterwards. As the episode counts down to the wedding, Meghan is portrayed by the press as breaking lots of royal protocols and admits she didn't know certain topics were taboo. And the closer the wedding, the more frantic the comms appear. We hear Meghan's perspective about what happened with her father and how that relationship ultimately broke down. Harry says that he shoulders that. If it wasn't for him, Meghan would still have a relationship with her dad. Royal Wedding Incoming, are you ready for episode four?